I want to introduce you to the Kenny paradox. And it goes like this. Uh, Jason Kenny, the Alberta Premier, uh, says that he is the oil and gas sector's biggest champion, that he will fight back against the federal government, against foreign funded activists, against all of those who criticize the oil and gas sector, and he will do everything in his power and in the government's power to uh, have uh, not only to defend the status quo, but to have that sector expand. And I, instead of being its greatest champion, I would argue that he is in fact its biggest liability. Now that's a pretty bold claim, so let me explain exactly what I mean by the Kenny paradox. You need to go to our YouTube channel, the energy, E-N-E-R-G-I dot media YouTube channel, and I just posted interviews with uh, Sam Abel Samid, who is a guidehouse research uh, analyst. He's based out of Michigan. He's also an engineer. And he explains the technical changes that Tesla is making to its batteries in order to drive down the costs. And within three years, Elon Musk says, they will have a $25,000 electric car. And that at that point, uh, the gloves are off, folks for electrification of transportation. Now, the second interview you need to uh, watch is with uh, Dr. Akshat Rathi, who is a London-based uh, uh, climate and energy reporter for Bloomberg. He's also a, has a PhD in chemical engineering. And we talk about a number of things around batteries, but also about uh, California Governor Gavin Newsom's announcement uh, two days ago, uh, maybe it was yesterday, that uh, by 2035, gasoline and diesel-powered vehicles will no longer be sold in California. Now, as uh, Akshat points out, uh, UK has already announced uh, the same thing for 2035 and is seriously considering and will probably lower that to 2030. And governments all over the, the world are beginning to copy that or soon will copy that. So this is a serious existential threat to the Alberta oil and gas sector, which is both high cost and high emissions intensity. This does not make it a really competitive barrel on the, the world market. So what the, uh, the government, what the industry recognizes it has to do, and you can read the comments from Mark Little, the Suncor CEO, and other CEOs, and they say, look, we have to become cost and carbon competitive so that we have market share in, uh, you know, to about 2050. Now, so here's the problem, especially in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. And the premier just does not get this. He keeps saying, don't worry about the future. There's going to be you know, oil demand for decades. Don't worry about it. Here's the problem. In 2014-2015, we had a market crash because of a one and a half to two million barrel a day oversupply. And that's in a hundred million barrel a day market. What happens if these electric vehicles, as the super major BP has said recently, what if they take to that 2% of that market, or 5%, or 10% by 2030? Does that crash prices? Can Alberta oil, uh, can Alberta oil still compete? Well, that's an open question, and it's not clear at all that, that uh, they can compete. And what they need to do, as I've argued in my book, and as I've argued in numerous columns, is they need to pivot to the low carbon future quicker. And the biggest obstacle to that pivot as it stands now is Premier Jason Kenney and the Alberta government. So look, the window to make that adaptation is still open. Uh, Alberta can still do it. There's all sorts of things it can do. And you can read the energy declaration on our website in which I lay out a number of options. You can read many columns in which I talk about the electrification of the oil sands, for instance, or shifting from uh, bitumen to over to making carbon fiber and manufacturing. So there's all kinds of things that Alberta can do, but it has to do it quickly. The window of opportunity is open, but it's closing. And it's not going to stay open forever, and it's closing probably more quickly now than I would have said it was going to close six months ago. And it's, the odds are very good that the closing of the window will even speed up further because the 2020s are just a, starting out to be a tremendous period of disruption. And so Alberta has got to stop defending the status quo. It's got to look to the future 
and seriously plan this. It's got to cooperate with other governments, particularly the federal government. Again, Mark Little from CEO uh, from Suncor uh, said the very same thing in a June uh, op-ed that he co-authored. We need federal leadership. And this silly fight with uh, Justin Trudeau and Ottawa has got to stop. And you can, if you, I'll put the link to the Premier's uh, press conference today where he does nothing but spend 40 minutes bashing the federal government as being the greatest enemy of the oil and gas sector. He's the greatest enemy of the oil sector. Jason Kenney, through the Kenney paradox, is the enemy number one of the Alberta oil and gas sector.